Hello and welcome back to the channel. What I've got here is a bonus video. Last Saturday when I was in Kilmarnock I had finished up doing what I was doing and I was on a bus on the way out of the town centre um, after I had finished and on my way out I had seen lots of supporters heading to the football ground. Kilmarnock were playing in the Scottish Cup that day. They were playing against Dumbarton. Um, so what I thought was, I thought well, I'll jump off the bus and I'll, I'll walk along to the stadium and then I'll see if there's anything of interest that I could I could capture. So that is the footage you're about to see. Now to my dismay, I realised later on that the whole time it had been recording in slow motion. And the reason for the delay in the video going up is because I've tried everything possible to see if there's any way I could salvage the video because what I noticed was the full recording is recorded in slow motion. I can speed it up to normal speed but I've lost the audio. There is no audio in the video and it's devastating because as I journey along I talk into the camera and I decide that look why don't we try a wee experiment and see if we can talk our way into the game for free. So that's what this video is. So there's no audio. So what I'll do is I'll narrate it as we go. And I realise later on in the video what's uh, the mistake that I've made. And I start to actually record audio. So this is the video. So let's go. Right, so this is me. I'm off the bus. I've followed the supporters down to the stadium. And... Anytime I've been to Kilmarnock, I'm not a Kilmarnock supporter, but anytime I've been there, this is the stand I've usually sat in, um, so I, I know where I am here, so it's very, very quiet, and I see this guy with the blue um, high vis on, he's a Kilmarnock staff member, and I go up to him and I say, hiya, how you doing? I say, what I'm doing is I'm looking for a ticket, he says, um, to get into the game. Uh, I says, and the guy says to me, look, I've usually got complimentary tickets on me, but I don't have any on me just now. He says, if you go and you scan the barcode, you can get a ticket for a fiver, but the challenge was, can we get into the stadium for free? Can we, can we blag our way in? So I say to him, look, where's the best place to try and get a ticket? And he says, if you go around there, head down that wee pathway, and it'll take you around, and the ticket office is around there. And I was right, okay, that's exactly what I'll do. So, you know, much credit to this guy. He was he was very nice. He really was. He was very approachable. And, and, and I credit to Cumberland Football Club. Um, he was he was lovely to chat to. Um, and I said to him, I said, look, you know, the plan is not to pay. And he was laughing. And he said, look, go round there and chance your luck round there. He said, um, you might find the gaffer. Uh, he's round that way, so I thought, okay, that's exactly what I'll do, so I'm heading down here, and I quickly noticed this pathway, and I thought, I don't know if I can walk down there with the camera, so I thought, is there another way around, so I start heading in towards the housing scheme, thinking I can get to the other side of the stadium, maybe be going, going round that way, because I was worried, um, that this, the security would stop me with my camera. So I, I, I chatted to this lovely lady and this guy, again, very friendly, very approachable. And I say to him, look, that pathway, it, it's okay for me to walk down there. Like, is that kind of public pathway? And they're like, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Um, you know, nobody will say anything. And I was like, all right, okay, that's exactly what I'll do. So they were very nice. So I headed down there. You, you'll see what I'm talking about here. It's a, it's a little gate and it's got, and it's, very particular to Kilmarnock Football Club, it says Rugby Park on the gate, so at this point I, I would think I would be in private property, um, but I head in, um, and again I'm chatting to the camera, and I'm like, okay, let's go, let's see if we can get in for free, um, and we'll chance our luck, uh, but as I'm heading in, as you'll come to see in a second, I spot this gentleman and two ladies, and they are collecting for the local food bank.
got quite a good little collection of food there, so it piques my interest. So I go up and I say to the gentleman, I said, oh, what's going on here? And he said to me, look, we are Scotland fans supporting food banks. He says, eh, so we're doing a wee collection today here at Kilmarnock to support the local food bank in the area. I said, ah, no problem. So I gave him a donation, I gave him a cash donation. Um, and they told me more about the work that they do. Um, and they said to me, oh, what are you doing down here? Are you, are you, are you doing filming? And I said, yeah, yeah. I said, I was in the town. I said, I seen the fans and I thought I'd come along. And I'm joking with them. I'm saying, look, I'm trying to blag my way into the stadium. So they all start laughing and they're all like, okay, um, you don't get, you don't ask. Um, so we're kind of joking and... They said to me, you come out and support and I says, no, no, I actually support another football club. Um, I says, but, you know, um, I thought I would just kind of do a wee social experiment here with the camera, see if we can get in. Um, and he says to me, what club do you support? I tell him, and he says, ah, oh, you know, I know the gentleman that does the food banks at your club. He says, um, he says I know him very well. He says, eh... Uh, and I was kind of joking because I had a scarf on and it wasn't my club, it's a, it was the club I support, but it wasn't the colours, it was black and it had my club badge on it, but it was tucked away under my my, my jacket, so So after chatting with the lovely people at the food bank, I decided to head round. They told me the ticket office was round this way, so I head round um, and just kind of talking on the way, thinking, okay, um, reiterating to the camera what we're going to do. We're going to try and get in for free if it's possible. So I'm following the supporters round this way to see where the ticket office is. And as you can see over these cars, so I looked at this, I thought, is that a ticket office there? Um, and it wasn't. It was the entrance into a suite and I see this queue and this is a queue for the ticket office and I start to think that there's no way if people are queuing like that to buy a ticket there's no way I'm getting one for free here. So I think right okay let's just continue walking around just in case there's anybody holding a ticket up or something and I can approach them and I can say can we can I get a ticket you know can I get a ticket for free. Um, so I'm looking and I'm thinking there's no chance here, there's no way I am getting a ticket for free. So I thought I'll continue walking around the, the other side here and just have a wee look to see if there's anything going. So at this point I spot these three guys, they're wearing the same blue high vis that says Kilmarnock staff is the other is a gentleman at the other part of the stadium that told me to head round here. So I approach the guys and I say, hi guys, how are you doing? I say, look, I'm in the area filming. I've seen the supporters coming along and I was wondering if I could get into the game for free. So they start laughing and they're probably thinking, who is this chancellor? Um, so this gentleman here on the left, his name's Grant. Um, he was so, he was very nice. He's a turnstile manager, he tells me. So he says to me, look, wait there a second. He says, uh, come on over. He says, um, I says, look, I'm just chancing my luck, and he's laughing. And I was like, you don't get it, you don't ask. So he goes in, and he, he says he says something to the guy in the turnstile here, and as he reaches out, he says, look, I'll get you in. And I was like, no way. So this gentleman here, he sees me with my backpack, and it's got my tripod and things like that in it. And he said to me, can I just check your bag? So I had bought a can of um, juice for the way home and it was in my bag I hadn't opened it yet and he clocks it and he says look I can't let you in with the can and I thought well you're letting me into the game for free you can have my can of juice a season you can drink it with my blessing so Grant the t Grant Moore turnstile manager comes out and he says right that's you you can get in and I was like okay but do I not need a ticket do I not need a seat number because and he says no no he said just sit anywhere 
Um, it's not that big a crowd today. And I was like, ah, right, okay. So that was me. I was in. I couldn't believe it. Um, I had I had managed to get in. Um, much thanks to Grant, to the turn sound manager. So that was me in. And I, I spotted the kids playing and stuff. And I thought, well, I don't want to film, film kind of children. So I quickly headed up to the... I went over because I lost my juice. I didn't have a drink anymore. So I thought I'd need some... I need some refreshment. Um, so I go up to the, uh, the, the store and I purchase um, a juice. Now, that was how I got in. I just basically chanced my luck. I found the, the staff um, and I, Grant was the tonsil manager. And I said to him, I was just up front, I was like, look, I'm doing, I'm chancing my luck and I'm just trying to see if I can get in for free. And he's like, okay, I'll, I'll get you in. Um, and he managed to let me in. So, you know, thank you very much to Grant. Um, it was brilliant and I'm devastated that I lost the audio because it would have been great to hear the conversations as, um, as I was talking to people and you could hear it firsthand what, what they said. I tried everything I could to salvage, but if it's recording long term in slow motion, it looks like you lose audio. Even though you can speed the pictures up, you lose the audio. So I realise just before half time in the game that what has happened. Um, because the, the picture quality. I thought that's a for blurry looking, that doesn't look right and then I realised it was recording in slow motion and I was devastated. So I managed to, the last part of the video is me in the stadium and I realised and I actually start recording proper. So that was me saying I've got my juice, let's go up, let's find a seat. Um, and that was me, I was in. So it was just before kickoff. I think I was there like five, ten minutes before kickoff. I'm thinking, where am I going to sit? What's a good vantage point? And then I was worried that the security would see me filming and they would come and tell me to stop. So I was kind of thinking, look, find a, you know, find a wee kind of quiet space and see if we can blend in unnoticed. Um, so the the stand at the opposite end there, that's where the Dumbarton fans were sitting. Um, so sits down, get myself organised, get myself comfortable, um, and yeah, so that was the story of how I blagged my way into a Kilmarnock game. So when I'm out and about, I'll if I'm in an area where there's a game on, I'll I'll do wee things like this and chance my luck. So um, that was the story. So I'll let the rest of the video play out now. Um, please do me a favour. Please like and subscribe to the channel because it, it helps and you know if I get more people watching I'll I'll, I'll make I'll make more videos um, it was great fun and uh, once again I'd like to reiterate to the to the people at Coman look they were wonderful the staff around the ground were they were so nice they were so approachable and um, the people doing the collection for the food bank so it's such a a wonderful cause and we'll not get into the politics of you know why we've got food banks and it's a disgrace we have them in the first place but the people that that work and volunteer to support these these services they do such a wonderful job so um I had a lovely chat with them and they told me all about their work and I'm I'm that's another reason I'm I'm devastated we don't have the audio because um they were telling me about their work and it was such a noble cause um so thank you very much to to them for the chat as well so yeah that's it I'm in the stadium um, I'll be honest it wasn't the best game in the world I left just after half time uh, because it was freezing and it was so poor but I believe Kilmarnock scored out at, I think it's like a 94th minute winner they win 1-0 uh, they got through to the next round of the Scottish Cup so so well done well done Kilmarnock and yeah, so please like and subscribe, like the like the video, subscribe to the channel, please share the video, and that was the story of how I managed to blag my way into the Kilmarnock vs Dumbarton Scottish Cup game. See you in the next video. Bye bye.
Grant Muir for letting me in. 